Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the Sky Tower Challenge. We found a SQL injection and today it's all about exploiting it. Oh boy, that's going to be real fun. Let's get started. All right, so we found this SQL injection, but um, we've just triggered an error. So let's see if we can find uh, an entry point. Um, so in order to play with it, I'm going to use uh, burp suit. You can also use zap. It's just a nice way to interact with the web server without having to reload uh, the page every time. And you know, it just makes life easier. Going to use a temporary project and start burp. Okay, the proxy is loaded. Let's configure our extension to talk to the browser and replay the attack. We get the same error as before. Let's hope that it has been recorded. Yep, there is our post request. Let's go to the repeater and uh, start tinkering. So the first thing you notice here is some kind of gibberish. This is just a URL encoding. Um, so what we can do to make it easier for you guys is to translate it to some simpler representation. Well, the plus here is just uh, an equivalent of space. So if I hover over it, you see the string that's going to be um, interpreted by the server. So this is the um, typical SQL injection to bypass authentication. Mainly we say here, or one equals one, meaning everything is true. And so if we send this, we get this output. So this is the uh, final payload that the uh, web server receives. And uh, so it seems that there's some kind of modification that has been applied on our email. So what I can suspect is that first of all, the equal sign has been deleted. The double ticks for comments is deleted and or has been deleted as well. So how can we bypass this kind of filtering? Well, um, first of all, we don't need to have equals one because or one is really enough. It's, uh, uh, we don't have to add be more verbose. So let's send this and as you can see, we only see now one digit. Now to bypass the second filter, let's try another comment, which is used by the MySQL server, which is uh, square or I'm not sure how we call it in English. Anyways, you see it right there. <laughs> so if we send it, oh, now we see that we get back our um, payload. Uh, but we don't see the or. Okay. What else this filter uh, filters? So we have maybe select. Yes, select is also being uh, filtered out. What about union? Okay, union as well. Well, okay, okay, okay. Um, so let's try to see if we can get the select to be printed. We know this is not a valid SQL uh, command, but just to see if we can do something about it to bypass the filter. So I'm going to get inside the select, like in the middle, and then type another select. You see what it, where this is going. So hopefully the first select here would be removed and then the uh, others would remain. Oh, 
Ooh, it worked. Okay, so we got select to to be printed. Okay, what about um, like if we if we we want to do the same thing but for or? So I'm going to inject an or inside, and oh, we get a different um, response here. Two hundred. Okay, uh, that's uh, really a different. Welcome, John. Okay, so it seems that we've uh, landed on a, the John's account. Let's click on render, give it some time and hope it loads. Yep. So this is the login, or the, should I say the John's dashboard. And you may know, Skytech has seized all international operations. To all our long-term employees, we wish to convey you thanks, blah, 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 blah. blah. Unfortunately, all the international contracts have been terminated. Oh, bummer. The remainder of your contract and retirement fine, $2, really, has been paid out in full to a secure account. For security reasons, you must log in to Skytag server via SSH to access the account details. Okay, the username is John and the password is this password. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Well, I'm really angry with uh, the way we were laid out as employees, so I'm going to hack you. And I'm going to use the SSH password you provided me with. And we're going to do that in the next video. So, subscribe to the channel and hit the ring bell to receive the video once it goes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.